And now to talk about uh, something completely different. I went to the theater, movie theater this week. I just have to get some Coca Cola. Excuse me. And I went to see a comedy. A comedy which I had been looking very forward to. I am, of course, talking about Due Date. Due Date. It's. Um, I, I know the trivia on IMDb says it isn't a remake, a reboot of planes, trains, and automobiles, but from 1987. But uh, if you look at the plot of planes, trains, and automobiles and due date, they are very similar. Two guys uh, uh, which have n almost nothing in common uh, have to share hotel rooms and cars and etc. to get where they want to go. So uh, it is very similar. But anyway, due date, it stars um, Robert Downey Jr. You know, the guy who plays Tony Stark in Iron Man and the the fat guy from uh, <laughs> The Hangover. I don't remember his name. But he, he is very funny. He's, one of, he, he's a great comedian. And the plot is Downey Jr.'s wife is uh, supposed to give birth to their first child. And um, Down Jr. is on board a plane. He's gonna fly and fly from um, Atlanta. He he's an architect, and he needs to fly from Atlanta to Los Angeles. But there he runs into. Um, I just want to look him up. And um, let's see, let's see here. Zach Glifagnis. Ethan Tremble and he runs into him on a plane and there's some commotion and they, 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 the, the, the both of them end up being uh, thrown off the plane because Ethan he um, isn't quite normal <laughs> and um, then they, ha they end up sharing a car where, where they have to where they drive from um, uh, Atlanta to all the way uh, down through Texas up to up to um, Los Angeles and there's very, very uh, several funny scenes for instance because um, uh, Ethan Tremble, the guy, uh, the guy play, played by the actor from The Hangover he uh, is addicted to um, weed or is it marijuana and, uh, and then <laughs> he, use all, he uses all his money on, <laughs> on um, uh, on weed, and then they have to sleep out. <laughs> they have to sleep outside, and yeah, it is. It is a very funny film. And also, the guy from um, the Hangover here um, has his um, dad's ashes in a coffee can, the coffee in a t in one of these coffee tins, because his dad obviously is is dead, and he wants to uh, spread his ashes uh, out at the Grand Canyon, if I remember correctly. And there they have several funny uh, funny experiences uh, like when they end up in Mexico because uh, <laughs> Ethan uh, he has um, smoked too much uh, <laughs> he has taken too much uh, uh, weed and when um, he uh, when uh, Downey Jr's character he is um, he is arrested by Mexican police and and many in uh, many funny scenes follows by because of this so but generally and then uh, of course they uh, on the way to Los Angeles we run, in, we run into Jamie Foxx who is playing a former college um, uh, uh, classmate of um, Robert Downey Jr's um, wife and then there's this emphasis that uh, Robert Downey Jr's wife's character has had a, had a get together with um, her old college classmate, and when she's pregnant, and when maybe <laughs> when she's giving birth, um, uh, it's a, it's an African American baby coming out of her stomach. Because uh, <laughs> actually, there's a funny story which I need to tell you. I heard from this uh, 
friend of mine back in the, the who had who had a, another friend back in the 1980s and uh, his his friend's wife unknown to my friend's friend she had had an affair with um, bla uh, a black man and um, she has, she had become pregnant and then uh, in the delivery room her husband is standing there with a film a video camera you guys have to remember back in the 1980s video cameras were uh, as big as this and then in the delivery room and of course her husband was uh, ethnical white uh, and in the delivery in the delivery room <laughs> the, the baby she delivered was of course you guessed it black so um <laughs> The the guy met her husband. He <laughs> he fainted in the delivery room. So, but um, I don't know if he divorced her afterwards. But uh, I think so. I, I seem to remember being told that he did. So, it was some sort of. It was a similar, almost a similar part of a story in this film that maybe the the wife of Javier Junior was character. She uh, was to, was was going to deliver a African American baby instead of a white baby. But um, uh, obviously she doesn't, and um, yes, sorry for giving away the plot uh, of the ending. But um, it 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 due date is a very funny movie. It has many similarities with um, the Hangover because it's from made by the same director. But generally, it's um, yeah, that doesn't matter because it's it's a fun movie, and I laughed uh, unlike with the uh, little fuckers. I felt myself entertained. So generally, I'm I was happy about seeing uh, Due Date, and um, it shows that Downey Jr. he has starred in comedies before, but um, he's, it it shows that Downey Jr. he has a comedic side, and that was good to see. So uh, if I'm gonna rate this film, I would say, um, yeah, it it had some. It wasn't. Fantastic, so I would say four out of five Coca Cola bottles from me. So, uh, <coughs> sorry. <laughs> so, this is Euroman of Euroman Moo Report signing off, and next week I'm gonna review the next three days. You know, the, the film with um, Russell Crowe, where he has to break out his wife from a female prison, and oh, I seem to remember Liam Neeson is in it as well. So, next week I'm gonna review the next three days. See you later. Remember, and don't drink.